Hello and welcome to the channel. Um, we've recently made an upgrade to our battery system for our solar. We've uh, upgraded from 12 volts to 48 volts and this is the equipment that I had installed uh, for the 12 volt system. We have six 100 amp hour lithium batteries. We have three uh, Flexmax 80 amp charge controllers a 3500 watt continuous 7000 watt surge pure sine wave inverter um, and then this is a 60 amp lithium battery charger uh, if we had days where we just didn't have enough sun to recharge the, uh, the the batteries we would start our generator and use this now the reason i have three of these charge controllers is at 12 volts, this particular charge controller can only handle 1,000 watts of solar input. And I have 3,000 watts. I have 2,000 on the roof of our motorhome, and then I have 1,000 that I can deploy on the ground. Now, these are all of the circuit breakers that I have for uh, to protect uh, the charge controller from the batteries and from the uh, solar panels. Uh, also for disconnect as well. So I have uh, three uh, uh, 30 amp and then I have uh, four of the 80 amp uh, charge, uh, excuse me, circuit breakers. Again, using those as, an, uh, as, a, as a disconnect as well as uh, uh, protection from, uh, from shorts, surges, that kind of thing. This is a, I believe this is a 350 amp uh, battery disconnect and this is a 300 amp uh, fuse block this went between the batteries these two right here were between the batteries and the inverter now from the inverter I ran a wire over to this circuit breaker at this point we're talking AC and not DC so to this circuit breaker um, I ran a wire from here to our bay where our shore power cable is located and then I installed this outlet. Instead of buying a, a, a transfer switch, I figured you gotta go outside to plug into a pedestal anyhow. Um, that was my transfer switch right there, my hand. So I had that uh, located in that bay. Um, and I would just simply plug it, plug my shore power cable into, into this and then the system powered my motor home. Now to connect the batteries, um, I have the uh, 4 aught cable. Now what, this is some pretty heavy duty stuff. Uh, with the uh, 4 aught, you don't have to worry about drawing too much current uh, for, the, for the cable. Um, there's, there's enough cable here to connect all the batteries together. There's enough cable here to run um, from the battery to the disconnect and then over to the inverter. The same for the uh, negative side of the system from the batteries. Um, they would run to the, I had a shunt, um, I'm still using it so that's why it's, you don't see it, but I have a shunt with a battery monitoring uh, system. Uh, I ran it to that shunt and then from the shunt it would go to uh, the, uh, the, uh, the inverter. Then I have some miscellaneous cables here. These cables here are the cables that would run from the individual charge controller to the battery, uh, from the uh, battery charger to the batteries, and then that cable right there is the cable that I had used to run from the inverter output here to the uh, 30 amp circuit breaker here. Now I'll take you inside and show you where all of this equipment was located. As a matter of fact, I'll put a, a link in the description. I have a video of all this equipment installed and operating. But while I'm uh, taking you inside, if you would please um, like and subscribe to the channel, we will, uh, we, we'd great, greatly appreciate it. It, it kind of lets us know how well we're doing. Now, give me just a minute, please. Okay, we're back. Um, I hope that wasn't uh, too long of a wait for you. This is the compartment that I had all of that other equipment installed. Um, these are two 48-volt, 100-amp-hour batteries. 
Um, to equal the capacity of these, you would need just over eight 100 amp hour batteries. This is the inverter. It's also the charge controller. It's also the uh, battery charger. Uh, it takes power from the shore to recharge the batteries and supply the, the power to, the, uh, to our motor home here. Now, let me get down here just a little bit, right? Here, let's see if we can't get a little bit better view. Okay, that right there, that's the converter charger that converts the 120 volts AC to 12 volts DC for all of the 12 volt system within our motor home. And then, like I said, this is the inverter, all-in-one inverter. This switch right here is the uh, uh, shutoff switch for the uh, solar panels. Down front here, there's three circuit breakers, one for generator, one for uh, the grid power, and one for the load. That's the, the load is the, the power that uh, uh, our motor home is using. And then this one here is a uh, circuit breaker between the batteries and the all-in-one. Now the, the uh, all-in-one communicates via this cable with the two batteries and then this is what links the two batteries together for that communication. There are a couple of displays, um, I don't know how well this is going to work, but there are a couple of displays. They let you kind of, they'll let you know what the condition, the state of charge of the batteries are, what the current is. and. Um, the, uh, you can also toggle through to see what the temperature of each one of the individual cells are. Now the, the, I'll turn that back on, these are circuit breakers here for the batteries. And what you do to uh, uh, start the batteries or turn the batteries on, you have an on off switch here, you'll turn that on. Once it's powered up, then you turn on your circuit breaker and then that applies the voltage to your terminals. Um, as you can see there's a state of, ch uh, state of charge lights there, there's an alarm here. This is a light to indicate uh, the uh, run of the, uh, of the batteries. <clears throat> and then these dip switches here, you adjust them so that each battery can communi communicate uh, with one another. And then like I said, the, the two batteries then through this cable here will communicate with the uh, all-in-one charge controller. So, oh yeah, there, that right there. That's the, uh, that's the shunt I was talking about earlier that, uh, that I'm using to, to monitor the, the batteries uh, on the, on the wall, inside wall of the, uh, of the rig here. So, and then, that, that fan right there, I have it connected to that thermostat right there with the temperature gets in this cabinet gets up to 75 degrees it'll turn it on and suck the uh, suck the warm air out of this cabinet. Um, I think that's about it. I'm not going to go into any of the programming details and stuff like that. Um, I think the video is long enough as it is. If you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Um, if you'd like to get a hold of me with regards to the old equipment and uh, maybe purchase the equipment, um, I'll leave an email in the description below. Again, please like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your time for watching our videos and for your comments. Have a great day.